Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary, and in this video, I'll show the step-by-step -step deployment of application gateway and the setup of URL-based routing. In the previous video, I have explained the components, features, and workflow of application gateway. You can find the link in the description of this video. So let's start. I have already created few resources to save the time on the implementation of application gateway. So there is one resource group, RG Demo Application Gateway. As you can see, there is a virtual network already created. In this virtual network, there are multiple subnets where the subnet 01 will be used by the backend servers. App Gateway subnet. This subnet is created only for application gateway because application gateway requires an empty subnet. And the third one is the subnet used by Azure Best in Service. Azure Best in Service is a Jumbox service which is managed by Azure. And I'm using the Azure Best in to log into the servers. Otherwise, I have to assign a public IP to the backend servers and to log in into them. So there are three backend servers which I have created. Web AWS 01, Web Azure 01, Web Azure 02. And I've created these servers to show the path-based routing and the default routing which, which I'll set it up during the deployment of application gateway. These servers are Windows 2019 servers. And in this video, I'll install the IS servers so that these servers can become web servers and act as a backend for application gateway. Apart from this, I have added one custom domain to Azure. I have bought one domain devsecopstech.online from GoDaddy and I've added as a DNS zone here. And in this video, I'll show how we can create alias for the custom domain to the frontend IP of application gateway. So let's start by installing the IIS feature on one of the virtual machine and convert it into web server. So let's go to web Azure 02. I'll connect to this server using the Bastion service. Go to Bastion. Let's connect. I'm into the server now. Let's open server manager. and add roles and features. Next, role-based installation. Next, and web server, which is IIS. Add this feature. Next, next. We'll use the default settings only in this case. And install. It should be installed within a minute or so. As you can see, IIS is installed now. Let's close this and open the IIS manager. And in the IIS manager, you can see the default website. Before we make some changes to the default websites, let's check this in browser if it's working properly. Localhost. As you can see, the default web page is available now. So let's go back to the default website click on the default document and there are default settings like default.htm and index.html htm which will open with this default website. I have already saved few files in the C drive location files. Uh, this is a default page for web Azure 02. So let's copy this HTML file to the default location. Let's go to C drive, inetpub www root and copy it here and then go to the default website default document and add my page dot html okay so now in the web browser when i'll open the local host it should show the new default page so now one of the web server is ready to save time, I have already set up the default page for web server, web Azure 01, as well as web AWS 01. So let's start with the deployment of application gateway. Let's go to application gateway. Create. Select the resource group RG demo application gateway. Let's give the name AGW, which is the abbreviation for application gateway. Demo AE 
A is the abbreviation for Australia East. The region is Australia East version 2. We are not installing WAF here. Let's not enable the auto scaling now and start with only one instance. We don't need an availability zone for this. HTTP 2 by default it will be enabled. Let's select the virtual network and app gateway subnet. Because it's an empty subnet, it's automatically picked up by application gateway. Let's create the front ends. Yes, we need a public IP because the same public IP will be then registered to, to the custom domain. Let's create a public IP. Pub IP app gateway 01. Let's add the backend pool. In this backend pool, I'll add the two web Azure servers so that I can show how the load balancing works between the two servers. And the third server, which is web AWS server that will be used for showing the path-based routing. So let's add the target virtual machine, web Azure 01. It is the network interface card for the server. Let's add another virtual machine also, web Azure 02. Let's name it as web Azure backend. Add. Let's go to the configuration. Now the front end and back ends are ready. To set up the communication between the front end and back end, routing rule has to be created. So let's create a routing rule. Web Azure default rule. Priority, let's give the priority as 10. Listener name, LST, Web Azure default. So the listener is assigned to the front end IP of application gateway. We are not using any TLS or certificates here. So we'll use the HTTP port, which is port number 80. And the type will be basic because we are not using multiple custom domains here. Let's go to the backend targets. In the backend pool, let's select the backend, Web Azure backend. And there are no backend settings already created. So let's create a new one. So backend. setting default web azure and in the backend protocol also we are going to use http because we haven't installed any certificate or enabled any tls on the backend servers we are not enabling any session affinity or connection draining let's leave everything default and add now the backend setting is added and this is the place where the path-based routing can be set up, which I'll show after the deployment of application gateway. Let's add. So now front-end is aware which backend pool it should talk to using the routing rule. We don't need tags for this. Review and create and create. It'll take a couple of minutes to create application gateway. I'll pause the video and we'll be back once application gateway is created. It took around 10 minutes and now application gateway is deployed. Let's go to the resource group and here you go. Application gateway is deployed now. So let's go to the application gateway. It's an app gateway subnet. It has a front end IP address. So let's check the configuration. We didn't enable auto scaling as you can see here. Backend pool is already created with the two targets. Web Azure 0102. Frontend IP address, this is the public IP address. And there is a listener which is attached to the front end IP, as you can see here. And there is a rule which is basic HTTP rule created so that the any traffic hitting to the front end IP can reach to the backend server. So let's check the public IP of the application gateway and see if it's working properly or not. Copy this IP. and perfect. As you can see, it's showing this is a default page for Web Azure 01. 
and if we'll keep hitting this, it should load balance between Web Azure 01 and 02. And as you can see, after a few tries, it's now load balancing between Azure 1 and Azure 2. So now, instead of using the IP address, let's use the custom domain. And let's map this IP to the custom domain in DNS zones. Let's go to DNS zone. DevSecOps tech dot online. Create a record set. No need to provide anything, just the IP address. Okay. An A record will be created, alias record will be created for this. So now let's try to reach DevSecOps tech dot online. And as you can see, load balancing between Azure 01 and Azure 02. Now let's move on to the path based or URL based routing. So till now, when a request is coming to the front end IP of the application gateway, it's getting directly rerouted towards the backend pool. But in the case of the path based or the URL based routing, application gateway will smartly check the URL in the request header and then decide which backend pool it should go to. So as in this lab, if the URL has Azure in it, then it will go to the Azure backend pool. And if it has AWS in it, then it will go to the AWS backend pool. So let's try to deploy the similar setup in Azure portal. So before making changes to application gateway, I'll make the web servers ready so that they can show a web page when the path has Azure or AWS in it. So let's go to web Azure 02. I'm already logged in. I'll go to the IS location, which is C INET pub www root. Let's create Azure folder and copy the files which I have already created. So let me copy the files. There is one JPG file or Azure cloud which you can see now, it will just show an image. And another one is an HTML file, which just open this image. So let's open it with notepad. And as you can see, it's just showing the image source. So let's copy these two files into the new location, which is in folder Azure. And let's check in the local web browser if the new setting is working or not. If we go to the local host, it'll show the default page, but if we'll type the path, Azure, azure.html, it shows the new web page. So that's good. And for saving time, I have already set this up in Web Azure 01 and Web AWS 01. So now we are ready to make changes in application gateway. Let's go to application gateway. First, let's create one backend pool. Add Web AWS backend. virtual machine and web AWS 01. It will add the network interface card of the virtual machine. Backend pool is created now. We don't need to make any changes to backend setting because we are going to use the port 80 HTTP port. There will be no change to the front end IP too because front end IP is mapped to the custom domain and we are using the same custom domain for testing. Let's go to the listener. There is one limitation with the listeners that we can't create multiple listener with the same public IP and port. And this default listener is already attached to the default rule. So to create a new rule, we need to make the changes in this listener so that we can create another listener with the port 80. So let's change it to port 8080 and save. So that means now if we'll go to our custom domain, 
DevSecOps tech dot online. It should not work because the port number is changed from 80 to 8080. Let's wait for a few minutes till these changes are reflected. Now the changes are applied and listener is updated. So let's go back to our custom domain. It will still not work. Let's use the port 8080 and it's showing the default page now. And it's load balancing between web Azure 01 and 02. Let's go back to our listener, add a new listener. And this time we'll path based listener. Port 80, public IP, all the settings are same. Now let's go to the rule. We'll create a new routing rule. Rule limit path based rule. Priority, let's give the priority as 11. New path based listener. And for the backend targets, let's add web AWS backend. And we can use the same backend settings. Now in the case of the path based routing, we need to add multiple targets. So let's add multiple targets. Azure star. So that means if there, if in the URL there is Azure, it should go to web Azure backend. Azure path. The backend setting, same backend setting we can use. Add another one. Now this time we'll add AWS star backend will be web AWS backend same backend settings and AWS path will be the name add and now we have added the path based rules add and this will start making the changes into application gateway. Let's wait till all the changes are applied. We'll see how our custom domain URL is reacting to the new changes. Application gateway is updated now and there is a pathways tool created now. So let's go to DevSecOps tech dot online Azure and Azure dot HTML, the page which we have created. And perfect as you can see this was the page which was created for this path now let's change the path to AWS AWS dot HTML and now it shows the HTML page for AWS server so to conclude in this video we deployed application gateway and set up the basic routing which uses only a single backend pool and later we have configured the path based routing which uses multiple targets. And this shows application gateway is a smart web based load balancer which checks the URL of the request and does the routing accordingly. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.